everyone, it's been a while. So today I'm doing a video on American makeup versus Korean makeup. So if you like this kind of video, do give me a thumbs up or if you have other comments, you can drop it at the comment box below. After the demonstration, there's a side-by-side -side comparison where I will explain to you the difference. So if you're interested, please watch the video all the way to the end. To start out with the Korean makeup side, I use a, a moisturizing serum yes, from ASOP. I mix it with my foundation. I'm using the Ultra HD Liquid Foundation with a bit of concealer to make the foundation slightly fairer. This is what they usually like to achieve. Since I run out of BB cream, so I thought like just make do with what I have. I will list the product that I've used below in the description box and you guys can take a look if you're interested. So I apply the mixture in dots on my face and then after that blend it up with a sponge. So using a patting motion to give it a higher coverage, I run through my whole face to even out the texture. And don't forget your neck area. Moving on to the other half of my face, which is the American Makeup Style, I'm using a brush to apply my liquid foundation. So you want to choose something that's mattifying and the colour should be close to your original tone or even darker. Moving on to concealer, I'm actually using the same concealer in the same shade and the same method application. This is just a method that I prefer over all my makeup style and the makeup looks usually out. This is my go-to method to apply my concealer and after that I'll just blend it out with a sponge. So here I'm applying a cream textured blusher as the base. Um, usually I like to do this so that it will last longer throughout the day. I'm applying on both sides and then I'll move on to the next which is the brows. For the eyebrows, I'm starting with the Korean brows first. For the Korean brows, I'm using two shades. One is the lighter brown one and slightly darker brown so I'm using the lighter brown to actually create a straight brows so I have a tutorial I believe on eyebrows and how to create the straight brows so I will put a link on the top of this video and then you can click or you can find the link in the description box so I'm just going to do my usual thing fill in my brows so I'm going to fast forward from here For the other side of my brow, I started out with the darker brown instead of the lighter one because my main focus is to get the structure and then fill it in. So at this point of time, don't be too worried about the brows. It's just like the basic structure overall is not completed yet. So after you're done with your eyes, you can always go back to your brows again. That's what I like to do as well, so that I will get my desired length of the brows accordingly to my eye makeup. Because my actual brows is a bit more straighter, so I use a concealer to create a higher arch. But it's not really that arch now. I will have to modify it after my eye makeup is complete. Moving on to eyeshadow, so for Asian eyes or if you have like hooded eyes or flatter eyes like mine, what I usually like to do is to create a fake contour. 
So I use usually a taupe or a brown, slightly a light brown shade to actually sculpt out the area that I want it to have an illusion that is a little bit more deep set. So you sort of do a big plastic surgery for yourself using just makeup, just like the den and the pop. So if you want places to look more sunken in, you use brown and for area that you want to, you know, let it pop, you use a light color like apple or white. So I use brown on both of the eyes just to create the shape that I want. And also do it on my nose to sculpt it a little bit. The trick to this sculpting stage is to use a very very soft brown. It's not something that you want the color to really show through. It's just for you to create the illusion of the sunken area that you actually want it to be there but it's not there. So next you're gonna move on to eyeshadow. I'm using a transition color which is like a creamy milk white. It should be white chocolate. And then putting on the side where I create the Korean makeup as a base. For the Korean makeup, I'm just going to do a soft smoky brown with pink and a wing liner with lashes. So now I'm creating the smoky eyes using a soft brown at the outer of my eye. I apply it in a circular motion. This method actually elongates your eyes and I picked up a little bit of baby pink in the center. Now what I like to do lately is using the champagne color to replace a pearl color shimmer. I use a really light pearl shimmer under my eye. After that, I realize it's a little bit too much. So I'm op opting up for like rose gold champagne to do my corner, inner corners highlight. So it's more subtle, more natural and um, it will look better in person and it's not like overwhelming. I realize that pink shadow is not really standing out so I'm looking for this Christmas palette that my friend gave me. Thank you, Ned. So I'm using the blusher color on my eyelid as an eyeshadow. I'm using a MAC 217 blending brush to actually lightly blend out to stack on top of the brown. So the trick of using pink Sometimes if you use pink shadow alone, your eyes will look very puffy or you will look like you didn't sleep enough. But if you stack it on top of a brown colour or a caramel colour, it actually neutralises and it will soften the pink to almost like a coral pink. I really have the impression that Korean makeup is very sweet, very subtle. But actually the technique is the same as creating a smoky eyes, just that the colour that you choose is more on the pastel side, more on the softer side of the spectrum. So the technique is the same. So when you do your eye smoky eyes on the upper eyelid, you also have to bring it down to a lower eyelid to complete the look. Yes, glitter. So I top it up with a little bit of glitter. This is from the Pony palette given by Vera for my Christmas present. Thanks, Yara. So I'm just going to pop the glitter shadow in the center of my eyes. So I'm done with the Korean side makeup. Moving on to the American makeup style, which I'm using a brown color mixed with, I believe, a caramel with dark chocolate. So it's a dark milky chocolate or milk chocolate color. It's a lot darker than what I previously built on the Korean makeup. With the same technique, bring it down, but I bring it higher, closer to my eyebrow this time around. So the secret trick to the American makeup style is you have to use brown at the corner of your eyes. 
This technique actually elongate your eyes all the way into the inner corners, which, you know, um, American or Caucasian usually have deeper set eyes, and this makeup style is originated from them. So to create this illusion or to actually enhance the the structure of your inner corner of the eyes, you can actually use this method. Next, I'm using a dark matte color to create the smoky eyes. I'm using my fingers. You can use any brushes that you're comfortable with. It's sort of like creating this powder eyeliner. And I'll usually use it at the outer corner of my eyes and bring it down to the outer lower lid of my eye. Once you are happy with the color, get a brush, get a concealer, you have to create a sharp edge at the side of the eyes. So if those of you who like to create your eye makeup first will probably do this first with the tips. So usually I like to start my makeup with the foundation first, so I'll do these steps. I use a concealer, which I use for my under eye. Use a brush to create a sharp line and then blend it out using a Q-tip or a sponge or a tissue, whichever that you're comfortable with. After that, to soften the edges, I will actually go back in with a little bit of brown that I used earlier. So for now, my eyeshadow is done. The one is Korean side, another one is the American side. So I'm going to move on with tight lining my eyes. Tight lining the both of my eyes with a dark brown pencil. This is from Colourpop. So after I'm done with tight lining, I'm going to elongate on the Korean makeup side to have the puppy eye. So using the crayon liner, extending the eyes and bring it down to the edge of my eye. I have created a Korean makeup tutorial before. So if you're interested in creating Korean looks, you can click on that video. Very importantly, don't forget to create the eye bags. The eye bags is the trademark that you shouldn't forget for the Korean makeup. And after that, I blend it up with a blender and same goes for the other side to brighten up my under eyes using the blender. So next I'm going to curl my lashes, put some lashes and create some wing liners. So my battery actually died when I applied the mascara and eyelash. So now I'm actually moving on to face contour. For the Korean makeup side, I'm using the same polar bronzer just that I'm using a lighter hand and lesser product. For the American makeup side, I wanted a more defined jawline, so I'll be emphasizing a lot more on the middle section.
I love contouring. Contour is my favorite part of the makeup process. So now I'm blending it well on the American side. You want a defined jawline, a defined illusion of you having a jawline, but you don't want to overdo it. So blending is really important. And don't forget your nose. I like to bring it all the way up, closest, closer, reaching almost like my brows, and then blend it into my brows. I also like to add a little bit on my eyeshadow. So that the whole face will have like a same brown floating throughout, like a consistency. And then for places that I think that I have to do it, I always clean it up with a sponge and a leftover foundation that or concealer that's buried on the sponge. Using the same color that I use for my eyes, I'm using on my cheek is the bright pink color. I use a dual fiber brush so that it will look softer, airy and like a hint of a color, I try to apply it nearer to the apple of my cheeks and slightly bring it upwards. Choose a more muted pink for your blush on the American side and the technique to this is to blend it into your cheek contour. So it's sort of like slightly above your cheek contour but blend into, blend into it as one. So you sort of created this V shape together. Next, moving on to my lips, I'm using two colors for the Korean makeup ones. I'm using a slightly orangey tint with a stronger coral orange tint that I'll place in the center. For this highlight, try to blend it in together with your brusher so you have sort of like the whole glow underneath your eyes that's joined together with the cheeks. So it's like you don't know where the shimmer or where the highlight actually started, it's just together with the apple of your cheeks. Face mist and I'm done. So the look is done with the Korean makeup side and moving on to the American makeup side. So I'm trying to actually overline my lips or like overdraw my lips and I haven't tried overdrawing on my own lips using that particular colour so the consistency is not very thick, it couldn't cover my lips so I have to stack on other colours. So yep, this is the final look for the American makeup side. I actually mix like 3 lips colour to actually get this. The video is getting a little lengthy, so I'm just gonna speed it up here. Um, I use uh, RCMA powder to set my face, and then I retouch my brows, add a little bit blush color and contour color back to my existing one, and that's all. So today I'm gonna do a comparison between the American makeup versus the Korean makeup. So. I think it's quite popular now that people, I think mean, it's quite popular for a while that people do the comparison kind of makeup so I thought that I would like to try it because my friend Natalie actually asked me oh, why not do a video like this so yeah I think the main difference is the eyebrows so uh, Korean eyebrows is straighter as you can see and American eyebrows is like a bit more arch according to your uh, face shape and I think the difference Actually, um, today the makeup that I choose is around the same. This is a lot more smokier, of course, darker. But I use like the brown smoky eyes to create the two looks. There's a little pink here and a little bit more shimmer. Uh, one, yeah, I, I throw in a little bit more shimmer. And then I think the AQSI, which is the eye bag. And the method to do your highlights, your blush, colour and position. And also 
the lips so when you see the video earlier or later you will get to see how i actually create this look um the eyes also the main difference i feel is the lashes that i use i use something a bit more wing out like this kind uh it's wing but it's a lot shorter for the korean makeup so that you achieve a more um, natural but still get to widen your eyes i elongate a lot of my eyes because my eyes are pretty short and then I connected um, eyeliner at the bottom which elongate to give you that puppy eye shape and for the American makeup I do a more dark dark brown black smoky eyes and then I did a liner but the eyeshadow instead of going just here and here I extend it all the way under my eyes so it gives you it actually rounds up the smoky eyes more complete. As for um, eye highlights I use for the American side, I only did it in the tip of my corner and in the front. For the Korean side, I use uh, did it the whole under eye and on top of my eyelids to create that uh, more beautiful and brightening, more sweet look. And this is a like more sexy and mysterious look. And as for highlights, I go for the Korean side, I do above my whole cheeks and instead of like a straight eye, I sort of like blend it out um, to this area so that it's, it, if the camera shines on you, it just feels like your whole face is glowing. I personally don't like my like to have a lot of glow on my face, only the cheeks area. And then for the lips, both I do, for both look, I highlight the tip of my lips and the bottom of my lips and the tip of my nose. And for the American side, the highlight I try to focus just right here in more of like a thin line so that when the light hits, it's like a streak of line under your eyes. And as for contour, I give a very soft contour. So when you see it look like very natural, it's just like overall give you a, a, a sculpting of the face. As for the American side, I focus a lot on achieving the, the jawline and also smoothen out like the V shape. Of your face so when the lights hits you can see one line here and another line here so that's about it what do you guys think oh lips um i tried to uh, enlarge my lips a lot on this side and then um on this side i do a gradient lip which I do two color, one fruit tint and then two, two shades of fruit tint outside is the lighter one and in the middle is the darker fruit tint so you have this gradient smaller lip look and the other side is the thicker fuller lip look so yep, this is what I've done if you guys like the look or like me doing such videos maybe you can give, leave a comment or like like maybe so i haven't done video for a long while because i couldn't find the time or maybe i'm not good at managing my time as i have too many things so i will try my best to put out more videos if possible and if you want if you have any particular video that you want me to do maybe you just leave a comment or i have my instagram account at kz makeup and yeah that's about it so see you guys